Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome to a, another unboxing video of Rankali figures. So, it will all come to an end very soon, sadly to say. This will be the second last video of all the unboxings. Uh, the last one uh, will have four of the most um, beloved figures I probably will ever own of Ranka as of now until they release even more for the anniversaries of uh, Macross Frontier and so on and so forth but who knows we will we never know if they will release more figures of Ranka Lee um, until they decide to do so so as of now these are pretty much all old figures of Ranka Lee uh, some of you may probably own some of them uh, some maybe you don't have uh, but maybe after watching these videos you probably might want to consider collecting them because of the quality or um, the design of the figures itself so guys I'm gonna start with um, I would say the cheapest one out of the whole batch here can you guys guess which one is the cheapest okay so the cheapest one is this one <laughs> which is uh, Ichiban Kuji price the other two unfortunately uh, even though they are smaller in terms of box sizes um, they are a bit more expensive uh, in terms of initial release pricing so yeah so the price ranges from each of these figures uh, is around well from 20 Singapore dollars to uh, 45 Singapore dollars so can you guess which one is the most expensive alright so strangely enough the most expensive one is this one so this one uh, it, even though it's um, even though it doesn't look very fantastic um, is this Ranka in a bikini working outfit uh, that, she looks like a construction worker well she is uh, because she was doing a promotional video in um, the Macross Frontier movie so she had to wear this get up to do a promotional video and surprisingly enough this figure was kind of hard to come by as well uh, and usually if you do see it it's priced quite high so yeah anyways um, this one um, with the Nyan Nyan uh, Chong Sam costume uh, there, there are color variations of it uh, I only got the original color I didn't want to buy the alternate color because I think I prefer this in its original color uh, the red version and the costume is pretty shiny so let's get on to opening the biggest one first of course is this one the Nijiro Kuma Kuma alright so we're gonna fast forward this Okay, so here we go, Nijiro Kuma Kuma Ranka Lee. So as you can see, there are quite a bit of metal poles, and the metal poles tend to tarnish in time uh, as time goes by. So it's starting to rust here, though. So this figure is a second-hand figure. Uh, probably need to oil it up to prevent the rust from getting bad. Uh, so yeah anyways this is the original color of her costume there is an alternate color of this uh, if I'm not wrong it's black in color so yeah the figure itself is lovely so like the other versions uh, the uh, Keitai Kun figure or the portion here it is kind of like a translucent rubbery um, piece uh, this one doesn't get sticky it's already it's not sticky because I don't know maybe the previous owner was keeping it uh, properly and of course you can see the details of the hat it's not as detailed as the previous um, um, Deka, Deka uh, Rankali you know the gigantic head one <laughs> so yeah so um, this one is not as detailed but because um, this if I'm not wrong this was released much earlier than that version so yeah so even though this figure is old, I'm loving how the um, stockings and the frills, even though these details are not as, um, I would say, defined, but it's just, it's just very adorable how this whole thing is uh, designed. So even the top part, you can see that there is some loose gaps in Ranka's clothing. So it shows her natural body size, um, that she isn't that busty. So yeah I'm still talking about it <laughs> and the key is wonderful because it is removable 
uh, you can actually take this out of her hands and yeah you can actually twist it around it kind of looks like a keyblade though uh, if you guys f do know Kingdom Hearts so you guys probably know what I'm talking about so yeah maybe maybe she she was the original Kingdom Hearts or rather keyblade user <laughs> I don't know so yeah um, the hair the hair color it's a much livelier green so uh, probably lime green I guess uh, than her normal usual dark green hair because of the holographic projection and of course we have the wonderful transparent pinkish ribbon uh, that she wears at the back um, the deeper parts are like a bit more uh, had more contrast in color instead of transparent so it fades from uh, deeper color to transparent that's pretty nice and her coat is well um, I would say well well modeled like the, the tips also has the musical notes just like the Deka version uh, that's pretty nice the base though the base kind of reminds me of a lucky star figure because there's a lot of stars um, very cute design yeah so overall I would say the quality of this figure is probably a 3 out of 5 if I were to give it but Ichiban Kuji figures are not that detailed um, but for considering the price that they are going at this is pretty decent enough so pretty good pickup if you can find one yeah all right so let's move on to the next uh, figure which is the Nian Nian uh, China dress or the Chong Sam version so yeah this is this is something that I've been looking forward to because the, the clothing is very glossy and shiny uh, something you don't see in the anime Okay, so here's the bad news. When the figure came to me, the stand is kind of damaged. So this part is actually dropping off and the front part that actually holds the figure up as well is actually snapped into the shoe of Ranka, which is kind of sad. So this tends to happen when you buy secondhand figures. Uh, but I think it's okay because I think I'm going to glue this permanently onto it uh, and eventually have it kept like that so the stand the stand base or rather the base yeah the base is pretty adorable it is it has all the signature um, designs of the Nian Nian restaurant uh, very Chinese looking um, yeah so all right so I'm gonna have to show you the figure just like this because sadly to say I cannot put it on the base so yeah if you want to get a proper condition figure at a better price I would say um, look out for first-hand sellers that don't sell uh, pre-open figures uh, this one was a pre-open one so I I'm definitely uh, said that yes this this is definitely the condition that I'll be receiving it in but it was a risk that I'll take for the price that I paid so that's pretty okay uh, eventually I can get it glued together I suppose um, that's fine with me so the apron is removable detachable you just have to pluck it out and you have to pull Ranka's head off to get the apron off so she can actually have the apron on or without the apron I think I'm gonna leave the apron on because um, it is a signature uniform for the Nyan Nyan restaurant and she comes with this so she she is able to hold a tray with um with the chinese uh, what do you call this i can't remember what this thing is called um where they use this to steam the um dim sums and all that kind of thing so it comes with three pork buns <laughs> so uh, when you open up the figure box please be careful because the pork buns are actually um well they are all separate and they can be actually removed uh, if you do lose one of them that's gonna be a very heartbroken um, experience so yeah the pork buns well known pork buns sadly they are not in the container with the, the, the two two pork buns in the one particular container where she shows to Cheryl Gnome <laughs> yeah that one will be a, would have been more hilarious but yeah so this this the quality of this figure is pretty awesome I would say um, the, in terms of the hair tone colors, uh, this is just mo mostly a flat green tone except for the ending portions, the tail ends of the hair. Um, they have slightly darker green tones. The costume itself is a glossy red. 
yeah the apron is like a matte color so and it's a bit of a rubbery material so that you can uh, bend around when you're removing the, the apron itself so very nice the shoes are of a glossy material as well um, the socks does feel a bit um, like poor quality because it's 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 like having plastered a uh, piece of grey plaster over the legs of Ranka so yeah the only thing that you can actually take note that there's a design of like some China clouds golden clouds here on the, the stockings so yeah um, overall I would say this figure is like a 4 out of 5 considering the, the paint paint job for this figure is pretty awesome uh, in terms of the costume um, overall yeah I think the main selling point is the costume and probably this the, the dim sum container <laughs> this is actually pretty well done <laughs> it actually looks like a real thing yeah so sadly to say I can't have this stand here so I'm gonna have Ranka lie on a bit <laughs> <laughs> so, so it is disappointing in a way so anyway guys we are moving to the last figure for this video um, this is the most expensive one and it is probably the only figure that has the least amount of details on it because Ranka doesn't really wear much um, The I think the selling point here is mainly the accessories that she comes with like the, the traffic cone, the helmet, the pickaxe and whatever sort <laughs> so let's get down to opening this thing yeah Okay, so I'm gonna have to lower the camera down below because this figure um, is pretty unique in its own way. Um, it comes with instructions on how you can assemble it. <laughs> and um, well, there are tiny parts that you probably have to remove in order to replace certain accessories like the uh, worker's pouch here. So you have to remove this one. So if you have any small accessories like this, I will recommend to put it in a small bag in case you lose them. Um, yeah, so none of this it's actually attached to the base it's standing by itself the base is just a flat piece of plastic and the cone is just well it's just an accessory the hat is dangling off from the arm uh, as you can see the pickaxe doesn't actually attach to anything it's just holding onto the ground and then putting under Ranka's fist and it's just gonna stay there uh, like that so it can actually be, uh, lose its position and drop off um, hence losing the accessory so overall even though the figure is nice and all this, uh, the loose accessories is kind of like a very bad selling point for this figuring. So yeah, so if you don't really like losing accessories and all this, um, I, would, I wouldn't really recommend this figure. It's gonna be a hassle to, to find replacements. Uh, you probably have to buy a brand new one. So I'm just gonna show you the figure just like this. Um, so this thing is removable. You just have to put it on. As you can see, it just comes off very easily. So I'm gonna remove this. I'm just gonna show you uh, the quality of this. So you can see like the hammer and all that, the wire cables is pretty well done. Uh, I'm just gonna put this aside. So the figure itself, the face, the face of Ranka is a bit strange. Um, it feels like her eyes is a bit too far apart. Uh, I'm not sure whether you can see it, but yeah. Um, but I'm loving the tone of the body. Uh, Ranka's slender body. Yes, the bust size is correct. <laughs> and yeah, it shows like she has some tan lines uh, around the stomach area. Um, maybe because from the color of the bikini and all that. The work boots are pretty awesome as well. Um, they could have added more details on the laces and all that so yeah but still yeah the zipper part is really awesome yeah so the back of the bikini um, loving the um, like the danger logo or the stay out tape that you have at construction site this is pretty awesome very smart design um, yeah and her, her usual ribbon at the back of her head is uh, orange in color to match the entire outfit's uh, color tone so yeah this is pretty much the only figure that doesn't have to be um, stuck to his base uh, it can actually stand on its own thanks to the, the safety boots design I guess and the weight of the figure yeah 
even the cone has some some slight weight to it you know um, so it, it's pretty awesome if only if only she could actually put this into her fist to hold uh, that would be pretty nice as well you know so the only main selling uh, rather the main uh, disappointing part of this figure is probably that the accessories are kind of small and they are easily losable so yeah anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully I've uh, oops <laughs> hopefully I've enlightened you with some of the uh, quality of Ranka figures out there um, I even though they are Ranka uh, Ranka figures I wouldn't recommend buying certain ones because the quality or rather the overall design of the figure in terms of uh, accessories or details and all that might turn off certain collectors so for myself I am slightly picky but not to that far extreme so overall I still love all these figures because it is still my waifu Raka uh, but in terms of uh, quality of figures some of them really turn me off especially uh, this one this one was pretty expensive but you know, the, even though the accessories were well made, like you can see the line designs for the wood pickaxe. So, um, but still, I don't think the price for it uh, justifies the uh, accessories that are so loose and easily losable. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time for the last Ranka Extravaganza video. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.